going auto wing too. This is how I make sculpted accent beads. You pre shape the bead, putting the hole in it, and then slice off the decorative elements, pre shaping them. This enables me to pick them all up one at a time and then sculpt them. So then I determine where I want to put them. Like so. Using a needle tool enables me to give a little bit more definition at the same time securing it to the foundation bead. Like that. I'll do some more. Once you've pre-shaped the, the bead using a needle tool, at either end, give a little pilot hole. And then while turning the bead with one hand, I'm turning the needle tool with the other. Hopefully it comes out in the middle, like so. And then I roll it on my hand. To enlarge the hole, you can put another size needle tool inside and continue to roll it. Find your pilot hole. Well, about halfway through, take it out, make a flat spot, do the other end, and voila. There you go. Let me slice up some pieces here. I slice them rather thick because I want them to have integrity for the wearer of the bead. Just a little pinch and a sculpt. Now this cane is fresh. I made it today. If the cane were not fresh, you would want to pinch it and warm it up a little bit more than just a few seconds. This will ensure it, the, the cane slice won't crack when you shape it. The nice thing about that, about this medium, is that if it does crack when you pinch it, you can always mend it by pinching it. It's a very forgiving media. Here we go again. I'm just kind of placing them where I want them to be and then I'll go back in and give it a little bit of definition. Now for other sculptural elements, you may want to put a little teeny tiny flower. I don't even think you can see that, but trust me, there's a flower in there. In which case you would then slice them up, scatter them around a little bit, and get them ready, and then press them on.
I like to put them in a rather ran random pattern. And I'm putting them at the base of the sculpted part of the stylized leaf. I call it a leaf. It's not really a leaf, but it's a leaf shape. And that one doesn't want to come apart. Sometimes you need a little coaxing with my fingernails. Or not. And maybe that one wasn't cut. <laughs> okay, here's one that's cut. And then I just throw it in the uh, scrap bucket for later. And now we have some little decorative elements. Can you see that? And that's it.